Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mod pack with the application Mod Pack Manager by Spiger and Instincts. And we're going to do it by selecting mods from the Curse Forge website. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it bridges the gap because, you know, the interface of this application is very stripped down and simple. It's not the most beautiful thing to look at. It's not meant to be, guys. It's like a spreadsheet type application where you can see a bunch of information on the screen at one time and handle it. Uh, but doing it the way I'm going to do it uh, adds a graphical interface essentially and also compares to kind of what you would do in the twitch application where you're going through and searching for these mods in fact it's using the generally the same data set as well to uh, get the uh, information from okay so the first thing we're going to want to do of course is we're going to want to add an empty pack okay we're just going to create a new pack and we're going to do it where it's linked to multi mc so here in multi mc i'll create an instance for 1.12.2 and i'm just going to call it a curse pack something like that okay and we'll bring it in there and then we want to go ahead and get a forge version so we're going to install forge uh we'll go beyond the recommended one we'll go to 2816 which is the latest one that JEI requires. Okay, so we'll generally want to launch to create the folders and stuff that it needs. But in the meantime, while that's doing that, we can go ahead and go look at the Curse website. Okay, so here at Curse Minecraft.curseforge, almost always where you should get your mods, guys. That is the safest place to get your mods and is preferred by the mod authors. So if you can get your mods at CurseForge, right? And uh, the e an easy way to get to a page that's useful is to go to the projects tab here and then go to mods right and it's going to take you to a page similar to this with the ability to filter for things so you can filter for your game version we're using 1.12.2 we'll filter for that okay uh and right now we're seeing last updated okay so this launched we can go ahead and quit that that gave us the folders that we need and before i get into that i'll go ahead and get the information that we're going to need to get the mod pack started okay so here's the curse pack so i want to go to the instance folder here and then i want to select the minecraft folder now mac that's a hidden folder so you have to have hidden folder shown uh, dot minecraft but you want to select that because that's where uh that's what mod pack manager is wanting in this destination it's wanting to know where you want to put it we want to put it in that instance of multi mc and it copies the path all right so we're gonna give a pack name and I'll name it what I named it a curse, uh, curse pack. And then I do want to choose the version. So, okay. Okay. So it creates that. And by the way, here's, you know, here's some other mod packs. So this is generally what it looks like. Uh, it's red when they need updating. It's green when they're fine and they have a list and columns and stuff here. All right. So here's curse pack. All right. So now we're going to go through and we're going to choose mods add mods now you can see you can do control a to do that as well or or shift a i mean uh and we're going to choose curse forge links all right so now it opens this window and anything we add to the clipboard gets added to the list okay if it's a valid link that this will recognize as a mod okay very cool so now we can just go around and browse so again here's the latest updated ones uh, we want to search by the most popular probably at first. I'm just going to start from the very beginning um, and not use the repository, you could, although you could pull a lot of these in repository. So I just go to the page of the mod and just copy it to my clipboard, just like so. When I go back to Mod Manager, there it is. Okay, so I can just go through now and just browse. So I want JEI, I want Journey Map, I want uh, Kinkers we're just giving examples we don't have to worry about the dependencies or anything um, actually i need to be sure to select the top thing i'm not sure i did that in the other one you need to select the address bar obviously yeah in journey map i didn't do that so you can't just go to the page you have to select the address bar okay or the address in the address bar but it will it'll get all of the um dependencies and stuff so i'll get chisel you know, I'm just going to do a small pack just as an example. I'll get extra utilities, let's say, okay. And this is just, of course, browsing the most 
support mine. So let's say I want to get biomes of plenty. Okay. And of course, just to be safe, guys, every once in a while, I'll go and check back to see if it's get adding the stuff that you want, just so you'll know. All right. So that's all fine. Um, and then, of course, I could easily, you know, search for a mod as let's just say Thumbcraft and get Thumbcraft. Have to go down a little bit on it. Let's just put Bombcraft six. See if that'll get us there quicker. Now, there's just a lot of Thomcraft content, which is good, but a lot. A lot of mod packs. Here it is right here. Okay, so grab that and bam, copy it. Okay, so those be a pretty good set of mods just to get started with. Uh, we got our map, we've got our, we probably want one probe. So let's search for probe and we'll grab it. Okay, so again, you could use the tools of the site. Uh, and you could do everything. All right, so now all we'll need to do, and of course any of these I could choose to remove just by selecting it, remove selected if I decide I don't want it. And then to install, I just hit okay. Now it's gonna go through and ask me for versions, like so I could choose a older version if I wanted it. All right, it'll obviously have the newest one on the list. So here we go, it's just gonna go through each one of them that way. And then it's going to, uh, bring up this window that says mass select mods and we'll just select and there we go okay so it adds them to the pack now these ones that say no missing dependencies then we want to select those okay and then we want to say add missing dependencies and I'm not even sure you need to select them you just say add missing dependencies now it goes through and it grabs connected textures and mantle okay is what it needed but the mods aren't installed yet see the column the long hair and the red says they're not installed so this is just a list of mods which which is cool you can go through and make mod lists and not take up disk space but we do want to install the missing mods okay so basically we just go through it here we choose install missing mods now when we go back to mod pack or to uh, multi mc the mods will be there okay go to the loader mods tab there you go so here you go you made a pack you know very simple to do guys very cool in just browsing around and and doing it that way you know and again you could easily keep up with which mods are most popular which mods have been last updated okay uh, total downloads is kind of another popularity measure but it's a little bit different uh, they do or you could just browse them by name and of course you got these categories along the side which I could have gotten Thomcraft more easily that away uh you know there's you just have to kind of learn your tricks or whatever but see i could have more a lot more easily gotten to thomcraft stuff just by choosing this thomcraft along the side and gotten it that way but anyway guys that's going to be it for this video i just quickly wanted to show you how to do it in a graphical way um again we're very much trained these days to like to look at colorful and beautiful stuff and uh this bridges the gap in that but still keeps the clean and powerful uh, application small light fast all that kind of stuff that's all the good things about my pack manager so that's going to be it for this video is the scott omato thanks so much for watching guys of course i will leave a link in the description and uh, you'll be able to check it out so take care and have a great day i'll see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.